Okay, Tom, it's time to get started. <clears throat> it's time to get you torn down and uh, ready for cleaning. So this is a, a 93. Yes, so this is a 93, not an 83. I was mistaken in my evaluation video, of course. These were produced from 88 until the mid-90s. So um, definitely a little bit later. pretty good. All right, let's get rolling here. Now for those watching out there, you gotta understand that these three line uh, screw heads are left-handed. So it's clockwise to remove. Keep that in mind. Very nice style. These are unmarked generally. There's no marks on the backs of these dials. Increase the all right. We will get it clean. Very good. All right. Well, that's your movement torn down. We're going to go ahead and get everybody cleaned up, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, we are back. It is time to get everything put back together. Pre-lubricated what I can to this point, and so. Now we get to get all the parts and pieces reassembled.
All right, there we go. All right, let's give it a check on the time card. Be right back. Okay, it was a really good starting point. So let's go ahead and get some adjustments made. Down your beat error a bit. Check which direction I'm gonna go. All right, let's see. Ooh, yeah, that was a lot. That's probably way too much. In fact, it was. Okay. There's a bit of static friction in these things that you got to overcome every once in a while. Okay. Now we should be back. Okay, closer. Close. Yep. Okay. Let's bring your rate down just a touch. Okay. Well, um, great. <laughs> We're going to let this uh, break in and uh, come back and do our final tweaks once we get back in the case, of course. Uh, but yeah, this looks great. These movements are just fantastic. All right. Well, I'm going to continue to let this break in and we'll come back. Hey, Tom. We are over on the calendar side now. We're going to put the final few pieces in place um, and then we're gonna get your dial and hands back on and get your watch ready to come home. Okay. With that, we are ready to um, put your dial and hands on and finish up your watch. Okay, Tom. We are back in the case and ready to put the final piece of the puzzle together. Just have to put your winding weight in place. And we want to do that in a somewhat special way here. This. Um, this hole needs to point towards that stud and then your winding weight splits the the distance here is bisected by your, uh, your stem and then once that's like that we can go ahead and let's go ahead and get a big one tighten down here screw and that optimizes your winding that's set by Seiko. All right, here's your brand new case back seal. All right, All right there it is. There is your beautiful 1993 7002-7009. Just a really, really stunning example. Came out great. 
the cleanup of the case went really nicely. All new seals everywhere, crown, case back, inside of your bezel. You got good solid clicks all the way around. And perfect. Um, let's just review. Your, your movement was basically perfect. There was nothing uh, except for your mainspring, which was really out of out of whack. I think that was part of your amplitude issue. Um, this I had to replace, so that will come back to you. Otherwise, the service went extremely well. Um, I also replaced your crystal just because I noticed after cleaning, um, your crystal still had those spots, and I thought they were just some kind of material that had accumulated uh, on the inside, but they're actually um, they're somehow etched on the outside. So I figured with such a beautiful example, it really needed to look its best. And so a new crystal you know, allows you to see that perfect dial just so well. Um, nothing really other than that. Your amplitude and your numbers are just so clean. Uh, everything functions just as it should. You'd mentioned something about your, your stem not uh, not really acting right after setting. This has a, um, uh, a sort of spring-loaded stem that goes into the crown and it was a fairly messy space inside of here and so I, I don't know if somebody had maybe put some some sealing material or if that was even factory um, but with your new um, gasket and cleaned out this crown area and all around and your threads are great um, I haven't had a problem um, putting things back after setting, so if you notice something, these crown stem assemblies are available from Seiko, so we can always replace that if that's something that you notice um, comes back, but I haven't noticed any issue, so um, you'll have to let me know um, upon use whether or not uh, you notice anything that you're not happy with. Otherwise, um, you know, your hands were perfect. I cleaned them up just a little bit. They had a little haze on them. Uh, but otherwise, things just function exactly as they should. Go through your quick date changeover. That does its job. And I believe we just clicked over the date manually. We go one more loop. And there we go. All right, so that is that. That's your service of your 7002-7009. Um, you got a few things that are coming home other than your crystal. Got your uh, couple gaskets here, your stem crown uh, assembly, your gasket for your case back, and gasket for your, uh, your bezel. And I'll put this in a bag so you can have a look at it. Otherwise, that's it. A beautiful watch. What a really great example. Well, thank you again, Tom. I hope you get to enjoy it, and I, uh, I appreciate you sending it in, and we'll get this back to you. All right, thanks for watching.